slim to none. The chances the UK now has of avoiding a coronavirus epidemic, according to the medical experts advising the government. More than 200 people have tested positive and two have died. Most recently, an 83-year-old great-grandfather at this hospital in Milton Keynes. This evening, his relatives have in a statement said, we as a family have lost a truly loving and wonderful person and are trying to come to terms with this. This whole nightmare is not something that we or our loved one asked for. As we are in isolation currently, we cannot arrange for him to be put to rest. And officials are warning that the country is teetering on the edge of sustained transmission. We have rising numbers of cases, but we're not yet seeing those cases right across the country. Um, we're starting to see a few cases where we can't quite work out where they've come from. Ministers are to meet sporting bodies to discuss playing matches behind closed doors, but already Premier League players are not shaking hands. And a Six Nations match was cancelled after a female Scottish rugby player contracted the illness. Despite over 21,000 negative tests, any large gatherings could yet be banned. All the more at risk elderly, advised to stay at home completely. Meanwhile, nearly 150 Britons remain quarantined off the Californian coast on the ship the Grand Princess. 21 of the three and a half thousand on board have COVID-19, though most of the passengers have yet to be tested. We have come across um, a few from England and Wales, um, some from Ireland, so we aren't the only ones. Um, but the majority is American and the majority is unfortunately also elderly. Back here there are concerns over unnecessary stockpiling. This supermarket in Hampshire cleaned out of some essentials and assurances that food supplies remain plentiful not always being heard. Richard Palo, ITV News.